Hello. Okay, so uh, the second solo in Don't Want You No More, more by the Almond Brothers, the Dickie Betts solo. <clears throat> this comes in after that run. That <laughs> Right into the bending of the root note here, and that's going to be. The phrasing of that, you kind of want to think of that, those bends in groups of three, with the first note being separate. So you have the first note, and then a group of three, and then another group of two, and you re bend that second bend. while it's still bent, so you don't pull it back down and bend it again, it's and then bend from there. So the way that thing comes in, coming off of that that's the first phrase. Now, the next one's a little tricky to hear, but what I got is this. And since I'm ending the previous phrase on my second finger on that 12th fret of the third string, that since I'm ending there, I'm going to stay right there. And then I'm going to slide my first finger. Instead of doing a hammer on, I'm going to slide my first finger from 11 to 12. And that puts me in position to do a hammer on pull off from 12 to 14 and back, and then slide back to 11. Like that. So that's going to be from here. Like that. That's what you're looking at there. Then that goes into a box run, a box one minor pentatonic run that I had to kind of fill in the blanks a little bit at the end of this phrase because what's on the recording is, is very, very difficult to decipher uh, exactly. So here's what I got. You're coming off of this. And then I got to quickly change position and get to here. phrase really ends there and then you get a couple of uh, auxiliary notes if you will that lead into the next phrase so let's hear this this running down the scale again uh, excuse me so it's pretty simple once you get the uh, the feel of the that I filled in at the end. And that leads you into something that's very similar to what Dickie Betts plays in the second half of the Statesboro Blues solo. And in, in this tune he goes... took that through to the end there. As you can probably tell, the last riff I'm not too comfortable with just yet. But reviewing from the um, the box one stuff that's similar to Statesboro Blues up to just before that last riff again is this. It's a little tricky because I got my pinky on the third string and I'm on the 11th fret and I'm on the 8th fret here, so I got to stretch. Very Dickie Betts, that idea. And then he goes.
okay? And then we get this run to kind of finish the solo off. I'm going to take this real slow. Good. Not slow enough. And to try to do that a little quicker, to try to make it a little more musical. Again, coming from... That's going to lead you into and then with that extends that all that stuff so one more time let's see if I can pull this off coming all the way back from essentially what you're looking at a little bit extra there to get you into the next part okay um, utilize the rewind button <laughs> have fun <laughs>